Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So earlier this week I had a day where I did like double Marvel videos. So I thought it'd be fun to do the same thing for Arrow and the Flash today. So this is gonna be a breakdown of all the different versions of the Reverse Flash or Professor Zoom, however you wanna think about him. They all go by different names, but it's always the same. They're the Flash's ultimate enemy and there might be one or more of them on the Flash TV show. And real quick, hello any new people. If you're just finding me for the first time, I do Flash and Arrow videos every week. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. I'm even doing a special Comic-Con giveaway that I'll explain at the end of this video. So the version of the reverse Flash you met first depends on when you started reading comics or watching the movies and the TV shows. There are at least five different versions of the character and another one if you consider the Black Flash part of that lot. I will for the purposes of this video, but technically the Black Flash is the physical embodiment of death, you know, or the negative speed force. So it's not really part of the Thawne lineage. So here's everybody from back to front, front being the New 52 universe. There's the rival from the Golden Age Jay Garrick days, the original Professor Zoom, Eobard Thawne from the late 1960s, the Hunter Zolomon Zoom from Jeff John's Rebirth era, Inertia from the late 1990s, and then currently in the New 52 universe, the Daniel West Zoom. The Black Flash was also created during the 1990s, but subsequent versions of the character have been used more as like a counterbalance to the positive flashes and Professor Zoom, so technically it's not a villain. All their powers are based on the Speed Force. Technically, Hunter Zolomon is a little bit different, but it's all about moving fast through space and time, super fast. So you can look at them all as like a really dysfunctional brotherhood of speedsters. Like a really terrible fraternity that just hazes the shit out of you. The new TV show hasn't really given a name to the Speed Force yet, and as of the first episode, Barry Allen has no idea that other Flashes existed before him, like Jake Eric, or will exist in the future. So let's just start with the first one. The first version of the Reverse Flash was called The Rival. His real name was Dr. Edward Claris, and he was a professor at the university that Jay Garrick went to. He recreated the chemical accident that gave Garrick his powers, and then called the formula Velocity 9. He started mass producing the formula and wearing a darker version of Jay Garrick's costume and committing crimes, but the conceit was is that the formula was very temporary, so eventually he was caught and thrown in jail. In a subsequent incident, Claris ran so fast that he hit the speed of light and entered the speed force, like he became pure energy. Jeff Johns, who's a writer on the TV show right now, brought that character back whenever he was writing the Justice Society comic in the early 2000s. I always forget how Jeff Johns is really notable for bringing classic characters back. In fact, he's the one that brought Barry Allen back during the Rebirth comic. Do not be surprised if you see a lot of classic heroes and villains show up on the Flash and Arrow this season. Eventually, he turned into pure speed force again and escaped. So he's floating out there somewhere, but technically he's more of a Jake Garrick enemy. He's not really a Barry Allen enemy. Next we have the first Zoom character, Eobard Thawne, known as Professor Zoom. He was an enemy of the Barry Allen Flash during the Silver Age. His character was the start of tying the reverse Flashes to the good Flashes in a blood relative way. It really took the idea of the Flash family to a literal place. Eobard was from the 25th century, so like 400 years from now, in the way, way far future. He was the start of this causality time loop that would become a huge part of all subsequent Flash stories. So he started out as this crazy Barry Allen fan who at that time had been long dead. So he had plastic surgery to make himself look like Barry, then replicated the accident that gave him flash powers, found the cosmic treadmill, and tried to go back and meet him in real life. Just imagine what his tumbler must have looked like. Yikes. So he miscalculated the time travel and ended up arriving a couple years after Barry Allen had died. He traveled to the Flash Museum and learned that he was destined to become a criminal, and as a result of the stresses of time travel and learning his true fate, he went completely nuts. He tried to pass himself off as the real Barry Allen until Wally West beat the crap out of him and sent him back to the future. So then like way later in the comics, they kind of rebooted the character a little bit, but it still involved a whole lot of time travel. Way way later, he started using the name Professor Zoom and kept trying to go back in time to change the past so that he could defeat the Flash. This was also the start of when the Reverse Flashes started trying to kill people in Barry's family. So remember, the trailer for the Flash TV show, we see a version of the Reverse Flash was there when Barry's mother was being murdered. Mild spoiler warnings, but I'm guessing a lot of you already know the plot of Flash Rebirth. That was published like five years ago, so I don't worry too much about spoilers in the comments, especially for stuff that's like super, super old. Eobarthon traveled back so many times and hurt Barry Allen's family in so many different ways that finally Barry just snapped his neck and then retired to the 30th century. I know, they're playing it a bit fast and loose with time travel and heroes doing awful things. During Eobard Thon's era, we also learned that his family descended from Barry's family. Eobard was the descendant of Cobalt Blue, Barry's secret twin brother. I know, confusing. It all happened back in the comics in the 90s. 
So the doctor who delivered Barry and his twin brother also delivered this other woman's baby named Charlene Thawne. He accidentally killed her baby, so he secretly gave her Barry's twin brother, and he was raised as a Thawne. The interesting part about all this is that on the Flash TV show, Detective Pretty Boy is named Edward Thawne. We don't know enough about him yet, but he might secretly be related to Barry due to some weird time travel paradox stuff going on. TV shows tend to oversimplify really complicated book plots, hint hint, Game of Thrones, so we'll just have to wait and see how the TV show deals with their connection. The Flash Rebirth character brought the Aobard Thawn character back whenever Jeff Johns brought Barry Allen back. And at the end of all that, they sever Thawne's connection to the Speed Force and lock him up in Iron Heights prison. On the TV show, that's the place where Barry's father is in prison. So if they ever do any prison scenes, be on the lookout for a cell marked Thawne. And thus begins the Hunter Zolomon Zoom era. Zolomon was a police officer with Wally West in Keystone City. Zolomon's area of expertise was criminology and psychology. So he spent all of his time trying to get inside criminals' heads. His father was a serial killer, and he had a lot of bad luck that resulted in his wife leaving him and getting paralyzed from the waist down during one of Gorilla Grodd's attacks on the city. So he had a legitimately troubled past. He was always a little bit resentful of just being stuck behind a desk because he was actually a pretty good police officer, but he always looked up to Wally West, and they were good friends. He did know that he was the Flash. When Zolomon asked Wally to change his past to reverse the accident, and he refused, Zolomon tried to use the cosmic treadmill himself. So of course it went horribly wrong, blew up in his face, and severed his connection to the time stream, giving him the ability to move through time and space. He was able to travel at super speeds, just like the Flash, but his powers were not based on the speed force. Instead, he was moving through time, so whenever he talked, his speech would change speeds, causing him to talk in this really funky way. As a result of all that too, he also went pretty insane, and concluded that Wally West refused to help him because he didn't know real tragedy. So Zolomon went back in time to try and kill Wally's pregnant wife, and even though it caused a miscarriage, Wally was still able to stop him by borrowing speed from the other Flashes. So this brings up a really good point, the idea that Flashes can grant their powers or their speed to other Flashes, making them faster. We only know about Barry Allen on the Flash TV show right now, but it's possible if another Flash shows up, they can make Barry faster. So the next version of the Reverse Flash to exist was Inertia. He was a clone of Bart Allen. He was actually a huge part of the Infinite Crisis and Rogue's Revenge storyline before the New 52 reboot. So he is most notable for stealing Zoom's powers and then getting the Rogues to help him kill Bart Allen. Since evil ends up turning on itself eventually, he of course went mad, then killed Hunter Zolomon, then himself was killed by the Rogues who were taking revenge for being tricked into killing Bart Allen. So this is where we hit the New 52 universe and current day. Right now, the reverse Flash is actually Daniel West, the brother of Iris West. He just calls himself Zoom. He got his powers from a freak accident that granted the Speed Force to a bunch of people during an attack from the Rogues. That's also the same event that gave the Rogues their real-life powers. On the TV show, we've only met Iris West and Detective West, so we don't know if they're going to be doing the Daniel character. It seems like they're just going to stick with the modified Flash Rebirth storyline for inspiration, but expect to see aspects from all the different versions of the characters. For instance, the accident in the New 52 universe that gives all the rogues their real-life superpowers, that's probably going to be the particle accelerator explosion at Star Labs. And I totally would not be surprised if they combined the Edward Thon character, the pretty boy character, with Hunter Zolomon. But now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments below which version of the Reverse Flash is your favorite and which version do you think that the show is going to do? I honestly think that they're actually going to combine multiple versions of the Hunter Zolomon character and the Professor Zoom character. Like, there's the one we've seen in the trailers, but that might not necessarily be Edward Thawn, the detective character at Barry's precinct. It can get very confusing when time travel's involved, but I'll get into more spoilers next week. They're actually screening the pilot episode at Comic-Con next week, so I'll do a full review. Be sure to subscribe to get that video, and if you have seen the leaked episode, please still use spoiler tags in the comments below, because most people still have not seen it yet. Here's the deal with my Flash Comic-Con giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a Flash Funko Pop figure. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. I'll leave it open until next week after Comic-Con. I'm also going to be recording the Arrow and Flash TV panel, so I'll be uploading that footage too. They're doing a DC Mega panel after that that Stephen Amell is hosting where they'll probably announce some of the big crossovers the TV shows are doing between Constantine and Gotham. Probably a bunch of Justice League stuff too. If you really want to help me out, there is a voting link in the description. It's a straw poll link that just has all the different panels that I'm going to be recording so you can vote on which ones you want me to upload most. In the meantime, click here to learn all about Robbie Mel's Firestorm character and click here to learn all about that first episode of Arrow Season 3. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. High fives.